Will you please be seated for just a moment because I uh, told you yesterday if you had any questions, any cards, or I mean questions you'd like to ask me, drop me a card or a letter, and you did, and I received many cards and letters already this morning, so I have a few letters here on my desk and I'll answer as many questions as I possibly can, and I hope the question I answer will be yours, so pay close attention. Eyes open and ears open, all right? Number one here is a card. It's from a Mrs. E. D. It says, Dear Jack Lane, I am over 40 years old. Is it too late for me to do anything about my fat, flabby, out of condition figure? Mrs. E. D., and for the rest of you students who are over 40, and, and people try to give you this false propaganda because you're over 30 or 35 or 40, you can't do anything with your finger, poppycock. Look, if nature didn't want you to be beautiful and glamorous after 40, there'd be big signs up there that say when you're 30, you're not supposed to do this in 40, 50, 60. You know what age means? Age means the condition of your body. Your mind never grows old. Your thoughts, you have the same thoughts as you did when you were a child, but the only reason is you can't do the things you used to do when you are a child because you've let your body slip. And remember this, that the law of nature is use or lose. If you don't use the body, you lose it. Am I right? So, in order for you to regain and recapture your lost youth and vigor in your figure is to do something about it with doing these gymnastics and uh, eating a little better. So age means absolutely nothing. You can be beautiful and glamorous regardless of your age. You can improve yourself 100% and never forget it. All right, here's a letter here now. Let's see what this is. It says, Dear Jack, I want so badly to have a nice figure. Can I have this figure just by doing the exercises alone? Or should I pay closer attention to the foods I eat? Mrs. W.K. Let's put it this way, Mrs. W.K. Exercise and these gymnastics are wonderful. They're fabulous. But you can't deny the fact that you are what you eat. So exercise and nutrition, they go hand in glove. Just like you can't separate the mind and the body, you can't separate exercise and proper nutrition. Remember uh, that this body of ours, most of it is built of protein. We need minerals and vitamins and we need all these natural foods in order to keep the bloodstream pure and to keep our energy and vitality up. And we need the exercise in order to firm up the muscles and get the fat off and to give you that youthful feeling. So please pay more close, pay a little closer attention to the foods you put in this mouth of yours. And along with the exercises, anything's possible. All right, number two, this is really uh, interesting. I appreciate your taking time out, you know, for writing me these nice cards and letters. It says, Dear Jack Lane, I don't have any special weight problem, but I have a face problem. Muscles are sagging. Can something be done about it? Can the muscles in the face be firmed up? Mrs. S. H. Well, Mrs. S. H. and the rest of you students, right where you're sitting there, let me show you a marvelous exercise to help to get rid of the jowls here and to firm up the muscles in the face. First, I want you to just open your mouth as wide as you can. Now, come on, do it with me. This is fun. We'll go. Press your lip. Good. Now, side to side. Grunt, 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 grunt. <laughs> it doesn't look very good, does it? You know, once in a while, I'm be doing my face exercise, you know, when I'm riding along in the automobile, I come up to a stop sign, I'm doing that. And the fellow pull up next to me, you know, he'll look at me and he didn't know if I'm a little wacky or not. He starts laughing, I start laughing, so we both go away happy, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see here. We have time for another letter, I'm sure. Says, dear Jack, I have three children, and you know what happens after you have had children. You look like a mess. My hip bones have spread out, and I've lost my youthful bust line. Can I look like I did before I married? Signed, Mrs. A. T. Well, I want to show you on the anatomy chart right now the, the bones of the hips. Now, come here. Let me show you here and prove to you that, remember, the hip bone students cannot be spread out. The only thing that spreads is the ugly fat you've let, let accumulate on your body. Now, look, look at carefully here, please. All righty. You know, this, this is uh, Emily here. She used to weigh 300 pounds, and she took too many of my high-protein tablets. <coughs> but notice, please, the pelvic reed, the pelvic bones in here. You notice how they're attached together here, and they articulate down here. I mean, they're, they're all together is one. You can't spread these bones down here. It's an impossibility. So if your hips spread out and they get larger, what's happened from neglect? You have let these muscles get fat and flabby. So that's where the spreading out comes. So by taking off that fat and firming up the muscles, your hips will shrink right down and be where they used to be. If you start using children as an excuse because you're out of condition, you're way out of line because that is absolutely no excuse. You haven't even started to get your full beauty until you've had a few children. This is the truth. That's nature's plan. So. I'm going to help you here to firm yourself up 
and to get rid of those old hips of yours and get you that streamlined figure that you want so badly, okay? Good, now let's get back to our trimnastics and thanks again for your wonderful cards and letters. <laughs>